Uh, we were kids, probably six, seven, eight years old. Uh, Mom and Dad would take all of us out there, and my brothers and I. And some of the rides were the, uh, well, the tilt to whirl, the uh, calypso. The calypso had four arms and then four chairs on each arm, and it spun round and. I would always manage to get my baby brother in the corner. We'd kind of smash him the whole time. It was it was a lot of fun. <laughs> we always went in the summer right after vacation Bible school on the Fridays, and uh, we'd rent the whole park, which I thought was pretty exciting. Right when you came in, there was a big picnic area where you could, and we'd all bring our food out uh, and just eat. But I couldn't really eat much because I'd want to <laughs> ride the rides fast. Oh, the one scary one was the Ferris wheel that turned upside down. You had your car in there, you could hold a lever and you'd be upside down as you went around. The big thing, of course, was the the Big Dipper, the first roller coaster I ever remember. The, so it's going the wooden roller coaster and the chain clack, clack, clack as you're climbing up to the top and get to the top and then it's off, off to the races. I enjoyed it. Big Dipper at Spring Lake, yeah. and walking up there and being there all day long. I remember it seems like we had to pay 35 cents to get on, but if you stayed on, it only cost you a quarter to ride it the second time. And then if he had a lot of people, then he'd forget to collect from the ones that stayed on, so we'd just ride until he caught us. <laughs> but the only thing that was there initially, well, there were two things. There was a place to swim, and there was um, a ball, ballroom. In fact, its earliest advertisements came from that aspect of it. I remember taking swimming lessons at Spring Lake, and they didn't just teach your lessons. We had synchronized swimming, and then we had a program. Oh, oh wow. That was, I remember how much fun that was. We spent the whole day with our baby oil and iodine. Right, yes, <laughs> yes. And, um, when we'd swim all day, then we'd jump in our car, this when I was in high school, and run to the Orange Julius stand that was at 23rd almost to Penn and have Orange Julius and ham sandwiches. <laughs> After integration came and was forced, they closed the pool and made it a, a, a sea aquarium with porpoises and, and things like that. And then it lasted for a couple of years. It's spring like always for, for as long as I'm aware had a, an Easter Sunday egg hunt for kids for free. And so uh, they came. And that was true after its integration period. And uh, it looked like kids were having a lot of fun and according to the pictures that I've seen, some of which are in the book. That night on that Easter Sunday of 1971, um, a rumor started around the park that a, a young black person had thrown a white person off of the Big Dipper and fell to his death. It was false altogether, but the rumors spread quickly, and before you knew it, there was a pretty much a full-fledged riot going on. After that, uh, people who had thought that it was a safe and family fun place to go to started being more reluctant to come, and it started its decline at that time. <laughs>